Today we'll be presenting on subordinators and prepositions of cause, reason, and purpose. Before we start, let's do a little review. We're going to, we are going to be talking about complex sentences. Remember that after adding a subordinator to an independent clause, the independent clause changes to a dependent clause. For example, an independent clause can be, he spoke English well. It ends with a period and it's a complete idea. It doesn't need anything. A dependent clause, although, he spoke English well. Here we have the subordinator, although, okay? And we added it to the independent clause, he spoke English well. Now it's a dependent clause and it needs something to be a complete sentence. When you combine an independent clause with a dependent clause, it becomes a complex sentence. For example, although he spoke English well, he never spoke up in class. Here the subordinator is although, he spoke English well is the dependent clause, and he never spoke up in class is the independent clause. Although he spoke English well, the dependent clause, he never spoke up in class, the independent clause. All of this is a complex sentence. Okay. Um, why do we call this a dependent clause? The reason why is because a dependent clause without an independent clause is a fragment. It's not a sentence. In order to be a complete sentence, it needs the independent clause. So, although he spoke English well, period, is not a sentence. It's a fragment. Why? The independent clause is missing. Because the independent clause is missing. Let's talk about cause and effect subordinators. Okay, this is a short review. Understand that subordinators can show cause and effect relationships in complex sentences. For example, the subordinators if, when, and because signal a cause. Okay, when you add if, when, and because, you get a dependent clause which is the cause and the independent clause is the effect for example if everyone drives an electric car this is the dependent clause okay it's the cause the reason there will be less pollution this is the independent clause it's the effect if everyone drives an ind an electric car there will be less pollution another example when when we take the bus every day this is the dependent clause it's the cause, the reason. We produce less pollution. This is the independent clause. It is the effect. Because, um, so when we take the bus every day, we produce less pollution. Let me give you another example. Because, because we carpool every day. That's the dependent clause. It is the cause the reason we save money that's the independent clause and it's the effect okay so once again when you use a subordinator to show cause and effect such as if when and because the independent clause is the effect and the dependent clause with the subordinator is the cause let me give you another one a subordinator since also signals cause the independent clause is the effect, and the dependent clause is the cause. Once again, for example, since we carpool every day, dependent clause, the cause, the reason, since we carpool every day. We save money, independent clause, the effect. Let's talk about subordinators of purpose. The subordinators so and so that signal a purpose in complex sentences. In these sentences, the independent clause is the action and the dependent clause is the purpose of that action. For example, so, the government reduces taxes to electric car companies. Why? 
why does the government reduce taxes to electric car companies? The government reduces taxes to electric car companies so everyone can afford an electric car. That's the purpose of the action. And the action is the government reduces taxes to electric car companies. We can also use so that in the same sentence. Okay. Um, the government reduces taxes to electric car companies so that everyone can enjoy, uh, can afford an electric car. This is the, the government reduces taxes to electric car companies is the action. And so that everyone can afford an electric car is the purpose of that action. Remember that the dependent clause can come before the independent clause if there is a comma between both. For example, after the government reduces taxes to car companies, to electric car companies, no comma, so everyone can afford an electric car. Again, dependent clause without a comma, independent clause. Okay. Now, if we put the dependent clause first, we have a comma right here. So everyone can afford an electric car. Independent clause, the government reduces taxes to electric car companies. Dependent clause, and a comma. So everyone can afford an electric car. Dependent clause, comma, the government reduces taxes to electric car companies. Okay, so this is a bit of a review. Moving on, let's talk about prepositions of cause, reason, and purpose. Prepositions can also show a cause or a reason. Okay, they can signal the cause or reason. The prepositions because of, due to, and as a result signal a cause. Remember that a noun phrase, that is the cause, which is going to be the cause, must follow the preposition. For example, because of, because of purchases of electric cars. This is the cause, the reason. And the purchases of electric cars, this is a noun phrase. Okay. The effect, there is less pollution. Because of purchases of electric cars, there is less pollution. Let's, let's look at due to. Due to taking the bus every day, I produce less pollution. Due to taking the bus every day. This is the cause, it's the reason, and taking the bus every day is the noun phrase. I produce less pollution. This is the effect. Okay, moving on now. As a result of, as a result of carpooling every day. Cause, reason, carpooling every day is my noun phrase. I save money. That's the effect. So as a result of carpooling every day, I save money. Let's talk a little bit about how to nominalize, nominalize a verb to use or for prepositions. To use a preposition instead of a subordinator, you can change the verb, such as take, into a gerund, such as taking, and drop the noun. For example, when we use a subordinator, we would write, because I take the bus every day, I save money. Because is my subordinator, I take the bus every day is my dependent clause. I is its subject, take is the verb that makes a dependent clause. Okay, but if I want to use a preposition, I would make some changes. So, because of taking the bus every day, I save money. I don't have I, I drop the subject, and I'm changed, change the verb take into the gerund, taking. So I have preposition, because of, my noun phrase, taking the bus every day, and I'm using a gerund, taking. Okay, summary. The prepositions because of, due to, and as a result of signal a cause and are followed by a noun phrase, which is the cause. For example, because of, preposition, noun phrase, taking the bus every day, gerund, taking, I save money. Okay, that's the effect. The subordinator so and so that signal the purpose in a complex sentence 
in which the dependent clause is the purpose of that action. The government reduces taxes to electric car companies. Why? Why does the government reduce taxes to electric car companies? Answer. The government reduces taxes to electric car companies. Action. So everyone can afford an electric car. Purpose of action. This concludes my presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts or concerns, please email me. Thank you for watching.